Orioles hosting the Mariners, and the Mariners are minus 115 on the money line. The Orioles are minus 105. The over-under is 8.5 runs. Mariners laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And the Orioles getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. Miller did not pitch against the Orioles either last year or this year. The Mariners are six and three as a team in his nine starts. They've won his last two starts. He's averaging five and two thirds innings pitched and five strikeouts per game in those games. For Kremer, he pitched once against the Mariners last year. Seven shutout innings. They actually lost that game 2 nothing. That was in Seattle, and he struck out five. The Orioles are 7-3 and three as a team in his last 10 starts. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 5.3 strikeouts per game in his last 10 starts. Head-to-head, -head, the road team is 6-4. and four. The Mariners are 6-4. and four. The Mariners are on a three-game winning streak. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs. Is five and five. There's only been one one run game in their last ten meetings. The over is hit in their last two. The over is six and four in their last ten. And the over eight and a half runs <coughs> is also six and four in their last ten. The game they played yesterday was the first game they've played against each other this year, and the Mariners won 13 to 1. The game before that they won 9-3. The game before that they won 2 to nothing. And the game before that, the Orioles won 9 to 2. The Mariners are four and one in their last five meetings against the Orioles. The Mariners are six and four in their last 10. The under is five, four and one in their last 10 games overall. They've won their last two games overall and they are two and two in their last four. Four runs, six runs, 12 runs and 14 runs. One run and a loss, two runs and a loss, 10 runs and a win, 13 runs in a win. For the Orioles, they're five and five in their last 10. They are oh, the over is seven and three in their last ten. They've lost their last two games, and they are two and two in their last four as well. Nine runs, fourteen runs, nine runs, and fourteen runs. Six runs and a win. Eight runs and a win. Two runs and a loss. One run in a loss. I'm on the fence because yesterday I took the Orioles because they were a home underdog. They're a home underdog again. Both of these pitchers have been pitching well this year. It's just a matter of who do you trust a little bit more. The Mariners seem to be playing well against the Orioles, so I'm going to take the Mariners with the money line. I'm going to take the Mariners laying the runs, and I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.